Hello again, everybody. Here for our second, I guess you could say, food review. Uh, while here in England, this time we're going to be doing something different. Not Filipino food, but kind of a sister. Well, not really a sister, but somewhat related because of they share a few words in their language. We're going to be doing some Mexican food today from a place in Southampton called Mexifun. Now, I got really excited about this place because I saw the reviews on Google and our train was delayed to get there and we had a rush. Basically, they closed at 9 p.m. and that's when we got there. So our food was ready after waiting like two minutes and the guy was super friendly. He basically said, um, you know, we're happy to have you. We wish you came earlier so we could have given you the full experience. So that made me feel kind of, like it was kind of heartwarming, very friendly. So that made me feel even more excited to try this food. So what we have is I took out this box. I think this is the dessert, which I'm not gonna say what it is yet. <laughs> I think that's the dessert. And then, um, oh yeah, here's the bag, by the way. You know, standard bag, nothing, nothing too fancy, but it serves its purpose. Um, they give you some colorful, they have some colorful napkins on that. I, I mean, it's Mexi Mexifun, so I guess that's the fun part. And then the uh, complimentary, you know, ply. I think this is probably paper. It's wood. It's wood, not paper. What am I talking about? Paper cutlery. Um, there's a few in here because we have a couple of dishes in here. Well, this is still warm. Well, this is really warm still. So here's the package. Um, it's, it's neatly packed in this paper bag, and I'm assuming this might be foil in here. I'm not sure. I don't know if this is the, this might be the enchiladas. So we got some, I think it's beef brisket enchiladas with some mixed pepper. By the way, the camera's angle is kind of strange because of the setup I'm using. It's quite hilarious. The phone's sitting on a coffee kettle or a tea kettle. Basically, ooh, this is it. Ooh, that's hot. Look at these enchiladas here. Look at these. That's my plate. Give me that plate bag. The producer is off screen messing with the plate. It's kind of hard to see this maybe. Actually, no, it's not. Um, this is just looks really well prepared. Um, there's rice on the bottom, like standard enchiladas. It's beef brisket. It looks like it has some spring onions on here and this enchilada sauce, which is supposed to be spicy and some, some, some peppers. I don't know if it's just much peppers it is. Uh, I'm assuming it's probably mixed peppers like green and red and yellow maybe. Um, oh, this smells really good, but you can smell it. Uh, yeah, so this is what we have first is the enchiladas. Now this is actually not what I ordered for myself. The producer ordered this, uh, but yeah, either way I like enchiladas. It's not my favorite Mexican dish. I actually really, you'll see what I, else I got, but obviously I love tacos, but no tacos today. So if you want to know what the tacos taste like, you're going to have to go there yourself. or find someone else who had it. Opening up my uh, cutlery, I kind of wish I would have down at the hotel grabbed um, a set of not something that wasn't a spoon because I suck at eating the spoons. So what I'm going to do is this is kind of hard to eat. I'm going to cut it down here and then I'm going to raise my dish up and eat it. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Smells good. I don't know how I should. Sorry, you can't see me cutting this. I'll raise it up though. It is what it is. This is better than nothing. It smells good. I really want to try this. It's kind of messy though. As typical. Oh, there goes my phone. We're good though. That's going to probably happen. This is a one take, by the way. I'm not doing multiple takes. It is what it is. So here we go. Oh, yeah. This has got some bright. Oh, rice inside it too. It looks like some, Mex some Mexican rice. I don't know if the colors are nice. Can you guys see that? I don't know if you can or not. It smells really good. There's some, yeah, it's definitely some peppers in there. Oh, this looks really tasty. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is still really warm. Again. Oh, this is really good. She's going to love the, the, the producer. I'm eating a couple more of these bites. Uh, can you see the rice? There's the beef falling down right there oh my god this is so good whoa this might be the best enchiladas I've ever had in my life I haven't had that many I've probably had maybe I'm not gonna tell you my age but I've had a lot of Mexican food 
And there's a reason why I don't normally get enchiladas. It's just not my favorite thing. But this is selling me on enchiladas. I mean, look at this beef brisket here. What the corn tortilla? The corn tortilla. The peppers. The rice that's sticky on it. The cheese. Okay. I'm I'm not eating any more of this because it's not fair. Someone took my food away. Here's the knife. It is really good. Like, bravo. Best enchiladas I've ever had, okay? Again, it's not saying much because I've probably only had six or seven enchilada dishes. Maybe a little bit more, but not as many as I've had on the next dish. Watch. Everything's so nicely packed. I mean, look at this. You like it? Yeah. Look at this box here. This is a kind of cool little box. And what do we have inside? Oh, this looks... They even put one of these little, like, I don't know what the actual name of these for, but, but yeah, it's like a pizza, like, mm -hmm. ring or something in there. I know what it is, but I don't know the official. What we have here is a quesadilla that has got spicy beef in it, and I, it's sticking, the cheese is sticking to the wrapper. They even have a nice little wrapper here. Okay, here, whoa, look at that thing. That's like a sauce, I think. Yeah, it's a quesadilla. There's the cheese. You can see the cheese right there. Um, I'll be honest, it doesn't smell as good as the enchiladas did, but I love corn tortillas. So, and this is flour. So, I mean, flour is fine too, but I'm not going to talk anymore. I just want to try this. Again, this is a quesadilla. Cheese and spicy pulled beef. I guess you could say pulled beef is what it says on the menu. Quesadilla. I'm sorry, I took a really big bite. There is a lot of meat in here. A lot of meat. Like, I am kind of overwhelmed with how much meat there is. Like, I'm going to open this up, which you really shouldn't do with quesadilla. Whole, I'm not going to say the word I want to say, but look at how much meat's in here. And there isn't enough cheese that's underneath it. It was the first thing they put on the tortilla. Like this, and the taste is really good too. I'll be honest, I like the enchiladas more. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. I have nothing bad to say about this. It's just delicious. So, I've been, so I maybe, again, this is in Southampton in, uh, in England. Best Mexican food I've had outside of the US. Sorry, I've never been to Mexico. What? Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Sorry, my camera yeah. keeps sliding yeah. down. There's nothing yeah. I can do about it. Yeah. All right. I need a little bit of. It's not as spicy, I will say. And I don't know if that's because to them, not to say that Mexican food isn't spicy in general, it is, it can be spicy, but maybe that's just the way they do their dish. There is some there is some heat there, but it's not as spicy as the quesadilla, or the enchiladas. Hmm, let me wipe my mouth a little bit. What'd you think of it? Okay, she said, there, it's really, there's a lot of meat here. And the price, like, the, the next thing I'll show you in a minute, but the next thing, the next dish, which is churros. Okay, I'll just go ahead and say it. The churros, the enchiladas, and the quesadillas were like 20, less than 22 quid, um, which is probably about, again, my conversion in my head is probably not super accurate. At least $25, but not more than 26. Yes, it's similar to the price I paid when I went to Jollibee, but that's fast food. This is like not fast food. So I'm okay with paying that much. And this is three dishes and it's a dessert. And they're faster than... And the food was, yeah, the food. Okay, now I, I love churros as much as the next person who likes, you know, cinnamony like fried desserts. But I have no idea what to expect with these because they look good, but they've been sitting here a while. And the best way to eat churros, in my opinion, is right when they come out of the fry, you know, being deep fried. But they smell 
really good and they have this uh, a dipping sauce here which is nice you know which is you need you kind of need it because there's no powdered sugar on this i'm pretty sure if i was there i could have asked for some because i think on the menu on the website it showed some powdered sugar but that's okay um i didn't specify and i'm okay with it not being that sugary and i have to figure out how to open up this this thing here producer do you want to try to open that up so i don't make a mess <laughs> Cause my yeah there we go perfect I, I don't know if this is caramel i think this is caramel a caramel dipping sauce that's a nice little container for dips it what is this it doesn't smell like caramel we'll find out when i eat it but here we go churro number one it is caramel but it's not very sweet it tastes like real caramel there may have been some caramel that went on my leg but we're not gonna talk about that. Mm, they're good. Um, I may taste it without the caramel just a little bit. They taste healthier, which I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. I'm gonna pass them over here. Oh, that one's, mm, no, they're good. Okay. I think this is the problem with these being sitting sitting here for a while. I guarantee you these coming out would have tasted, if I had to say out of 10, I'd give these a seven. But out of the fryer, they'd probably be a nine because the flavor is there. The dive dipping sauce to me is really good because it's not super sweet, um, but they're not the best churros I've had. And again, I can't critique them too much because they're not every time i get churros it's, it's always like i'm at a fair or i'm just wanting some churros because i'm walking around so and they're hot and ready this was hot and ready when i ordered it but right now it's not now to finish off the evening so that's mexa fun and it was fun so and it was mexican food and it tasted like authentic mexican food i'm not mexican by any means so i this, what am I doing? I'm using the wrong yeah. stuff. Yeah. I had this really kind of interesting can opener, bottle opener, I mean, that's got like a Berlin little thing and it falls apart sometimes. I'm not gonna show it. Oh, there we go, it's fixed. All right, we got some cider and it's inches. Uh, it's 100% percent Brit British apples. I'm gonna taste this real quick, because why not get cider to go with my uh, dinner here in England. I love cider. So I'm not gonna, let's pour a little bit more than that. I'm not gonna pull a full gla glass yet, but here we go, some cider. It's a lot of ice. Probably didn't need this much ice, but it's what the bar gave me downstairs. So I've never had this cider, so we'll just try it real quick. A little bonus extra food review or drink review. Yeah, it's good. It's cider. It's not as strong tasting as some ciders I've had, which it's not a bad or a good thing. I have nothing negative to say about it. It's not as like tangy as some other ciders, but yeah. It's smooth. This is alcoholic, right? Let me make sure. I don't even know if this is alcoholic or not. It is alcoholic, okay, it's four and a half percent. Cause it is, it doesn't even taste alcoholic. So anyways, that's gonna be it. Um, video is a little longer than usual, but we try, tried an extra thing so you can get over it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. That was Mexa Fun here in Southampton and England. Uh, you could give it a shot. It's well, the reviews were there five, five stars on Google. I would probably give it at least a four and a half. I can't give it a five because I didn't try it in the flesh, like right when it came out of the uh, fryer. So to speak but i bet you would have been i i can see it easily being a five but anyways thanks for watching guys hope you had fun and try it i recommend it bye